So um, at this point, uh, we have a second WAV file that um, has a file structure that indicates still mailbox greeting 126, it's still greeting 01, and uh, it, it appears to be the second uh, iteration of that. Uh, by examination, if I look in uh, other mailboxes, I'll notice that there is 01, 02, 03, 04, and the name file. Um, I would look here and conclude that that's my standard greeting, 02 in a meeting, 03 out of the office. Uh, these re recordings have clearly had previous um, versions uh, recorded and are now saved with uh, an extension here. Not an extension, but a, a file name change that indicates that they are uh, of a new message type. So let's go back to our mailbox 126. And uh, we already looked at the data folder. Let's go ahead and leave this guy a message. So I will go ahead and dial up that mailbox. So Abel, this is a test message. Uh, we're trying to trace um, the linkage between mailboxes and message folders. Thanks a lot, guy. Bye. Send this message from message six. Okay, so at this point, uh, um, I would expect that the data folder here has uh, been written to. Let's let's go ahead and examine this puppy. Let's get it so you can can see it a little bit better. Um, whoa! There seems to be a voice message here. And let's see if we can figure out what this is. Um, in the voice message folder, I can see there's a mailbox, the name of the mailbox, I'm willing to bet that this is a GUID for the phone call that just came in. We could probably trace it through the log. I can see here in this data folder that um, this is the client ID assigned to this user. Uh, but at the end of the day, what we know here, since this was a virgin mailbox, that we now have a voice message. So. Let's go take a look at what 2UAHPNBMA might be. I'm willing to bet that 2UAH lives back up here in the message folder. Well, my goodness, there it is. So this linkage between this .msg file and the um, file over on the voicemail folder provide the linkage between those two folders. And we can see here that we have, uh, in fact, created a WAV file. Again, you can right click on this, say play, and you will, in fact, be able to play this message. So um, that's basically what I can tell you about the voicemail message structure today, uh, you will also notice in the short line data folder that there is a folder entitled servers. And if you were to click on that, you would find that you have a list of distributed voicemail servers in this installation. I notice also that this guy here, I happen to know is an SG50 switch. So, um, and he, and he has some mailboxes that live on him. I know here that this uh, is a distributed voicemail server. It has no voice mailboxes currently on it. But if it did, uh, you would click on there and you would see um, an indication of those voicemails. So, so much for um, Shortel voicemail fun and games. Um, I'm going to do another video clip on a CFG dot exe uh, configuration tool
to show you how to further use uh, test and debugging to explore messages. I hope you found this informative and I thank you for viewing.